To integrate the WARF model forward in time, we use the WARF.exe program to use the initial and boundary conditions produced in the previous steps to create future forecasts. We'll again expand the Docker commands. For running the model, there are two options listed here. You do not need to run both, and we suggest that you start with option one for the purposes of this tutorial. Since running the model takes a bit of time, we'll go ahead and copy and paste this command into our AWS terminal window and get it going. Okay, while that's running, we can talk about the differences between the two options listed here. Option one uses the default number of processors that is defined in the run script. In this case, that's four processors. In option two, it demonstrates how you can modify the number of processors for running on different hardware that may use more or less processors. The Docker run command here is using the DT Center WPS Wharf container along with the provided run wharf script and nameless in the local scripts directory, as well as data from the previous steps in the WPS PRD output directory and the GSI PRD output directory. The output from this WARF program is placed in the WARF PRD output directory. As with previous components, you can monitor the progress of the WARF program in a separate terminal window by using the tail utility on the log files. So we'll take a look here at the other terminal window and we'll navigate to the WARF PRD output directory. If we do an ls we can see that there are already WARF output files being produced. As mentioned, we can use the tail utility to take a look at the log file, which in this case is called rsl.out.0000. And it looks like we actually have a successful completion of the WARF model integration already. A control C gets you out of that tail utility. So let's move over to our first terminal window, go into the WARF PRD directory and do an ls, and we'll take a look to see if the WARF out files that are listed in our online tutorial match what we have produced in our terminal. And indeed, we have all of our files. So the WARF model integration has completed and we are now ready to move on to the post-processing component.